Hello, hello, welcome to today's video guys. So as you can see, today we have a favorites. This video is sponsored by Clinique, so thank you to them for working with me on it. And I just really quickly want to address the elephant in the room and say that yes, I am indeed filming with a ring light today. I haven't filmed with a ring light in probably over a year. I actually forgot that I had this thing, but I leave to Hawaii on Monday. Today's Friday. We had the Whitney Times Gymshark pop-up shop, or I'm sorry, Gymshark Times Whitney Simmons pop-up shop. It's one of those, it's one of those hashtags. <laughs> we had the PR event for that today, and unfortunately I ran out of daylight to film this video, but I wanted to get it filmed before I leave to Hawaii. So I do apologize for the lighting situation. Hopefully this ring light isn't too bad. I'm gonna start off with the two like beauty focused items that I have, and then we're gonna move on to food because I have a lot of food things to talk about. So I'm just gonna get beauty out of the way, food, we're gonna talk about um, some movies and TV shows, some new music, um, some clothes favorites, which is so exciting. As I just mentioned, the Whitney Simmons times Gymshark collab. It's beautiful, it's amazing. I'm so excited for you guys to see this stuff. But um, first things first, one of my favorites of this month um, that is beauty related, um, and this category is very broad for me. One of my friends came to visit recently and she had this perfume on and I'm not even joking, I wrote it down in my phone like exactly what it was called. And the second that I got a chance to go to Ulta, I picked it up right away. This is called Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana. It smells fresh, light, airy. I don't know, I don't know if those are like the right words to describe it, but it, it smells phenomenal. A little goes a long way. You do not need a lot of this stuff. Um, I just do like one to two sprays and it stays on for so long. It is pricey, it, it's pretty pricey. I think it was close to $80 if I'm not mistaken, but I'm a huge smell person. So perfume is one of those things that I am willing to kind of invest on, um, especially if it's something that's going to last a long time and I don't know, I just love it. Okay, so for my next beauty related favorite, we have this Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenish Hydrator. Um, basically what this is, and I'll show you guys the inside, it's a very hydrating moisture cream. And I don't know how many of you guys know this, but I moved from Chicago to California a few years ago. And in Chicago, we have a very humid climate. Whereas here in California, it's a lot more dry. And I feel like that's the biggest issue that I've had with my skin. Can't say enough good things about it. I know this video is sponsored by Clinique, like I said, but I truly think that if you are struggling with hydration, this stuff is amazing. The coolest part about it is the fact that you can actually put it over your makeup. And I was really like, not sure how that's gonna work, um, but it does not take off your makeup at all. It also works great as a primer. Nothing ever like slides around or anything like that. Um, but if you feel like throughout the day, your skin is getting drier and drier, then you can just put this on. It has hyaluronic acid in here, so it brings more moisture into your skin it's also allergy tested and 100% fragrance free so there's nothing in here that's going to like irritate you or anything like that and I know that skincare stuff is very you know individually based like something that works for me might not work for you it's kind of weird because I feel like my skin is sometimes dry and then other times it's really oily and I've also read somewhere that actually for people who have oily skin it's because their skin is trying to overcompensate for it being dry so when I was having a lot of like oil issues with my skin I was actually told that I need to hydrate it more that way your skin isn't producing so much oil to overcompensate for the dryness. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? It's very lightweight and it does look kind of like a gel, um, which just feels nice. The second you put it on, it just feels like cooling and fresh. If you guys are interested in checking it out, you can click the link in the description bar. Thank you, Clinique, for sponsoring this video. All right, so now that we're done with beauty, we can move on to, drum roll please, food. We're gonna start off with my number one food favorite of the last two months, and I'm sure that a lot of you guys saw this coming. We have the cauliflower gnocchi. If you guys watched my Trader Joe's favorites video, then you already know. I feel like I've raved over these in two videos now. So what's a third, you know? If you guys watched the Healthy Lunch Ideas videos or the Trader Joe's favorites, then you know. I just throw them into the air fryer on 390 degrees for 15 minutes. Ingredients are so great. The macros are amazing. They're so good for you. You're pretty much eating vegetables, cauliflower. So honestly, Trader Joe's, if they ever get rid of these, I will probably have a a panic attack. My second favorite is actually a new favorite. Recently had some friends over for dinner and this was one of the snacks that they brought and both of them said that they didn't like this. And then I was like, let me just try them. I was so pleasantly <laughs> surprised. So these are called organic ridged plantain chips and the flavor is sea salt and vinegar. I think sea salt and vinegar is like the best chip 
flavor out there in my opinion barbecue comes in close second but i would still prefer salt and vinegar over barbecue any day and i love plantain chips they're so good for you the ingredient list is very short they're also paleo grain free and vegan again i don't know if you're gonna love them because <laughs> my friends did not like them at all but I'm a fan, so let me know. If you end up finding these, let me know. Next, we have another recent find. Um, this I actually got from Thrive Market. If you guys watched my two healthy dessert recipe videos, then um, you saw me unbox it and get this mix. I did not have too high of expectations because it's plant-based, keto, gluten-free, high fiber, and low carb. When it says all those things, you kind of just start to wonder like how good can this actually be? It's amazing. And for 27 grams, it's 0.5 fat, 18 grams of carbs, 11 grams of fiber, and five grams of protein. I am so, so excited to talk about this next thing. So this is called roasted coconut butter. If you guys know me, then just by reading the label, you'll know that this is my shit. I just wanna show you the inside of it. <laughs> it's like halfway gone. It's by a brand called Eating Evolved, and they're the ones that make those like coconut, um, butter cups. I have them in a bunch of different flavors and they're so, so, so good. They also make chocolate. I put this stuff into oatmeal. I eat it with a spoon, <laughs> just straight out of the jar. Um, I've had it on toast before, like heated up toast. Honestly, amazing. And the last two food items that I want to talk about are these two things right here. You guys have also seen them on my channel quite a lot. So these are the Thrive Market Coconut Macaroons. This one's in the flavor lemon, and then this one's in the flavor brownie. I actually can't pick between the two, and you would think that I would prefer the brownie because I love chocolate and I love anything brownie, but they just like nailed the lemon flavor on this, and I'm a fan. I'm gonna bring it to Hawaii, um, just in case. You never know if you're like in a hotel and you're craving something sweet. I know I'm gonna be in Hawaii, so I will be overloading on acai bowls, so I doubt that I'll be craving anything sweet, but. You can never be too prepared. Moving on to category number three, which is clothes. I don't have too many things, but I'm gonna start off with a new collection from 437. They did come out with some new suits and they are absolutely stunning. I've been a supporter of 437 for quite some time now. I think they make amazing swimsuits. The way that they fit, the colors, the styles. I will throw a picture on the screen of me in this specific suit. I have it in a size small for both top and bottoms, but I do recommend sizing up on the top if you want like a little bit more coverage. Some other things that fall into this category, the Whitney Simmons Times Gymshark collection. I just wanna start off by saying that I'm so incredibly proud of Whitney. She's worked so hard on this collection and it's truly just out of this world. The second that I felt the material on the leggings and the tops, I was blown away. It's so soft. She's thought of everything. Nothing suffocates you. Nothing digs in anywhere. There's no camel toe. The material of the leggings and the top actually remind me so much of Lululemon. Um, but there's also like extra little details on here. I actually think I'm gonna try and do an entire try on haul for this collection, so uh, bear with me. Hopefully I'll do it right as I get back from Hawaii. I'm not fully sure when this is getting released, but right as I know, I will post about it on social media. I just wanted to mention it on here because it is a favorite of mine and I'm so excited for her and we do have the pop-up shop this weekend. So usually I like to end off my favorites with uh, TV shows and then music. So for TV shows, I only have one, um, but I did binge watch the crap out of it for the last like week and a half it only took a week and a half uh, but it's called in the dark and it's on netflix the show is actually based on a girl who's blind and um she's trying to solve a murder and the twist and turns that it goes on and her personality in the show is so amazing it's actually a little rude and kind of standoffish and not very friendly but i think the actress just did such an amazing job um, that it's hard not to fall in love with the character even though she is in a way like not the nicest person um but you are rooting for her the entire time and then as far as music i did recently go to a john mayer concert and it was incredible i cannot recommend it enough if you guys get a chance to see him live definitely do so you will not regret it but his new song new light has just been on repeat ever since. And that brings us to the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.